I had the opportunity, great opportunity, to work with uh, President Reagan uh, on and off from 83 to 87. And we got to do things like I was his convention photographer and the Republican Party photographer for the 1984 convention in Dallas. And that's uh, the, and before that, we had actually shot at the White House uh, when we first did it in 1983. It was the first time I ever worked with him. And I walked in his, the Oval Office, and it's kind of just what's not you don't expect. It just had this cowboy stuff. There was a beautiful custom pair of boots over here in one place, and then there's we had two different Brim, uh, Remington bronzes, and you know it just had that flavor that Reagan brought across that he loved, because he loved the cowboy. One of uh, Reagan's best friends was Senator Laxalt at that time, which was one of the top uh, senators out at that time out of Arizona, I believe. And uh, so he got a hold of him, and they actually got me on a, a, from this particular ranch that was up in Wyoming. We started off in the middle of January, got, getting up there, and we did a four-day cattle drive across the Badlands of Wyoming in the middle of bad winter. Me and my assistant, we, uh, they pulled every prank, everything that could be possible. And so, uh, you know, the, the very first morning they told me this guy handed me this, or I, got, I had this can of stuff called Sure Grip, and uh, it would make like your hands and stuff grip to things. And uh, so um, they told me that if you just spray that all over your thighs and all over everything, your butt and everything, before, before you get on that horse, they said it'll callus up, makes it like a, it's a sportsman callus. And uh, they said that, uh, um, You'll be able to ride that horse all day long, and they said you'll blow everybody away. So I, boy, sure enough, I did that. Of course, it was about 20 degrees in the bunkhouse when I got up that morning at 3.30 in the morning. And, man, I sprayed that all down, and, boy, I pulled them long johns up and my jeans up. And, of course, then I had a 50-pound camera bag on my back, and I thought, well, luckily I had to go around the other side, so my back was against them, and I had to actually take my foot and lift it in the air to put it in the stirrup. And uh, all of a sudden, boy, I, sh I thought, if I have strained my guts out, I'm getting on this horse. And I did, and that's when all the ripping I felt, like somebody was just cutting my legs to pieces. And I got on it, and I thought, what in the world happened to me? I said, my, I feel like I got needles all over me. So then we got, got out and started riding, and my, my assistant was with me, and so I kept looking over at him and saying, how are you doing with this? Are you, are you hanging, hanging in there pretty? Oh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I said, well, I'm doing terrible. I said, I've, I've gone numb in my legs. I can't even feel. And so finally about, about the first bathroom stops when I realized uh, what we had to do, I had to get off the horse. And when I did, it was just like they just ripped the side of my legs out. But what had happened is that sure grip had glued my long johns to all the hair on my legs. And it was just, just ripping them out. Every little move you did, it just ripped. <laughs> so that night, the cowboys, they sure got a kick out of that. They laughed and laughed and laughed. And so once we got past them, they, they, I was accepted because I took it and laughed with them, you know. And, uh, but uh, that's, that's how we started shooting cowboys.